get a lot of publicity this season, and rightly so, for the Devlins, Paul and Faye. But not all that much for Chris Long, and what a year he's had too in the number three jersey. Ronan McGarrity here for Tyrone. McGarrity, Pascal Canavan. Pascal Canavan, eight the coach. Tyrone playing with a confidence. Chris goes for a score. Three points to nil. Two of them from Adrian Cush. And that's a beautiful score. Cohesive movement, good passing. Confidence start by Tyrone, the Ulster champions. Trevor Giles here from me. Looking for Brenny Riley. Breaks down now to Barry Callaghan. Looking for Meads for score, and it is. Barry Callaghan, the scorer. Three points to one. Finbar McConnell lands it in the middle of the field. The big jumpers are up for Jimmy McGuinness for Meads. Great feeling by McGuinness at midfield. That's two big ones he's brought down. Seamus McCallum blocks it. Good block by McCallum. Is it a McGarrity? Poor pass. McManus. Ready rally for me. Roland McGarrity going across to Fair Devlin is next in line. Breaks behind here to Jerry Cazan. What a very, very good player I think he is. Peter Canavan reacts as it goes over Fay's head. Canavan trying to get away from Mark O'Reilly. Canavan goes for his first goal. And what a great score, just as he was hit. He's only a slight fellow, Canavan, but he's wiry, and he was hit just as he's hit it. Well, he got the ball coming in from the right-hand side, and I think it was that sandwich, two Meath men coming in at the same time, and I think he took a very, very heavy amount of pressure on his lower leg. Jody Gormley tries to get a touch in that. Jody was leaning on the Meath man. Tyrone are having problems with a high ball at midfield. This is Brenny Riley. Tommy Dowd's made the run. Good run. Well timed by Dowd. Good cross it is to Barry Callahan. Over the bar. Good score by Callahan. It's as much as he could salvage from that. But what a beautiful, well timed run by Tommy Dowd that made the opening. Tyrone can't do much about the midfield on Meade's possession, but they can certainly do it on their own. And Finbar McConnell's obviously up to that, he plays it wide. But even that doesn't work, and Meade have it again. Barry Callaghan. Faye Devlin stays off him. This is Graham Garrity, point there for the taking. And he has the wind in his favour too. Brenny Riley. Nice turn. Good stuff, excellent, really excellent score by Brenny Riley for the equaliser. Here's a play anywhere football, a cornerback, wingback, centre-back, half-forward, and this year's championship full forward. Jody Gormley can't get to it, again Meath winning at midfield. They're sharing their possession about, this time it's John McDermott, a terrific block by Cush who has done an immense amount of work as well as score. Tyrone leads, six points to four. In possession, Barry Callahan. Nice layoff to Brenny Riley. Trevor Giles, Graham Garrity. It's there. That's quite superb. A beautiful move. But premium. A superb goal. The layoffs were terrific. In the moment Garrity got the ball, I thought of a goal he scored in the Leinster final some years ago, but he made no mistake, and he made no mistake there either. Jared Cadlin. Brian Dewar, Martin O'Connell arrives. Good tenacity by Dewar. Jody Gormley, Dewar stays down injured. Peter Canavan. Over the bar. His master's voice. The lead for Tyrone from the captain, Peter Canavan. And he's grimacing, Peter. I think he's carrying. He seems to be carrying some kind of an injury around the groin earlier. Eight points to 1-4. The Ulster champions lead the Leinster champions. Pascal Canavan trying to get Brian Gormley away. Here's Martin O'Connell from eighth. The layoff to Graham Garrity. Look at the pace of this man. There's a goal on here. But he's 
satisfied with the point to restore equality. Graham Garrity is one of the fastest footballers in the country. Meath have scored a goal and five points and only once of those scores has come from a place ball. Trevor Giles got that one. Trevor Giles could very well do this one right on half time. He could, he does and it is level. I think is signaling for Troon to calm down, settle down. There's still a long way to go in this match. It's not over yet by any means, and just to keep their cools. 15 minutes or thereabouts to go, and probably a lot added on for spoilages and injuries. Number 23 here is Adrian Kilpatrick. That's Fergal Logan. And a present of it to John McDermott. John McDermott to the totally unmarked Graham Garrity. John McLaughlin's doing his best to get to him, but Garrity has the legs and Garrity has the skill and Garrity is having a superb match. He is doing to Tyrone what a lot of people thought Peter Canavan would do to me. Ger Cavlin, Pascal Canavan, Peter Canavan with Darren Fay. Peter Canavan, the block, it's a good block. It's two me defenders went with the Tyrone captain. And Paddy Reynolds, Pascal Canavan, just a little skirmish. Good piece of feeling by Glendon Riley. For what an assured young man he is. It's difficult to see them getting back from this. They need to be scoring a point a minute, but it's Meath who are on the warpath. And Barry Callahan knocks it over the ball. Well, at the moment, Meath are rampant. The Meath are in total control now. They can afford a wide or two. Although, of course, they would like to put as many away as possible. But the game is drifting very... Definitely away from Troon at this point. Graham Garrity, Meath have scored eight points in the second half. Meath have scored nine points in the second half. And it's 1-4 today for Graham Garrity. Forty years ago, Tyrone came to Croke Park for an All-Ireland semi-final. They lost it. They came back the next year and they lost again. Last year they came for a final and lost. Today it's a semi-final. So the team of 96, although much lauded, has not got as far as the team of 95. Jerk Cavan with the free kick. And again, it's Big McDermott with the fetch. Out to Giles. It's an exhibition of high feeling by the Meath midfield. Colin Brady dropping this down. The first time I've seen the Tyrone defence in tatters this year. Here's the man of the match, Graham Gerdy. Layoff to Barry Callahan. Callahan got the goal. But Graham Gerdy just simply adorns and crowns his award as the man of the match. And I, for one, have not seen this Tyrone defence get such a scutching. The referee calls for the ball, it's all over. You've got to say that in midfield, McDermott and McGuinness dominated for me. Graham Garrity was out of this world. The defence was terrific, particularly Martin O'Connell. The final goal, two goals and 15 points to 12 points, you can't argue with that. 